So, to start off, the concept of family law. What is family? What I'd like you to do is, in your books, if you don't have a book and on your laptop, um, or if you don't have that on a piece of paper or on the handout that you have there, or in the space below even, um, list as many groups, relationships, or things like that that you consider to be family. So what do you consider to be family? Have a think about that. More than one person. More than one person? It may be relationships, it may be groups. That normally um, have a think about um, who it is, what the criteria is, what makes them family. Oh. Okay, let's, let's go around the room and see what, what do you guys think family is. Maybe start over on this corner. Just give me one thing you have written down. Starting one. with Cassie. Yeah, one of the things you wrote down. Wait, a type? Um, a a anything that you put down. Type of family or relationship. Like types of families. Yeah, like you want? Couples without children. Couples without children, excellent. Siblings. Siblings, yeah. Um, then, I didn't do it. Okay, can you think of any? Any relationships? Any um, groups? Marriage. Yeah, people who are married, very good. Children. Children, excellent. Cousins. Cousins, very good. Don't have to be married. They don't have to be married, so de facto couples or just non de facto couples who are just seeing each other. Um, same sex. Same sex couples, yeah. Civil unions. Civil unions, very good. Um, Remy, could you grab one of each of those two at the front? Um, Saxon? Oh, All yours have been said? Okay. Uh, Excuses. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, relatives Re blood relatives, okay. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. Luca? Uh, great, uncle. great uncles, okay, so extended family. Um, Angela? Grandparents. Grandparents, excellent. And Bella? What? Did oh. you get one of yours? <laughs> Um, maybe people that live in the same home comfortably. Okay, people who live in the same home comfortably, just like housemates? Yeah, they okay. can be family. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm interested also... Thank you. Um, I, I used to have, in my family, had a German Shepherd. She died about 10 years ago. But if you asked us, do you consider her a member of the family, we all would have said yes. And if the house was burning down and we could only say one thing, she would get saved before any yeah. material item in the house. So we considered our pet part of the family. Um, now, the actual legal definition is a little bit different. The ABS actually has a proper definition for it. And that is two or more persons, one of whom is at least 15 years of age, who are related by blood, marriage, adoption, step, or fostering, and who are usually resident in the same household. So there's an actual definition. Um, so, so one of them has to be 15. So how are these actually spread out? You've got three major groups. There's couples with children. They make up just under half of all families. You've got couples without children. They also make up just under half of all families. And you've got single parent couples. They're about 14%. But couples without children and couples with children, they're almost uh, even numbers. And in fact, this one here, couples without children, that's a very fast growing proportion um, of households.